Yo, Jason, where you at? What up, man? Just chillin'. You at the club? No, but I wanna be. I have you heard the song? Yeah, uh, it sounds like that, that other song. But it's not, it's this song. Oh, yeah, let's dance to this song. I think it's about that time. Let's go. Let's dance to the song. 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 So um, I made a video called What's in Your Purse, I think about a month or two ago, and um, decided that I was going to make another one for me living here in Japan. So um, let's get started. So first things first, I remember in my video, um, originally I had a very, very large Hello Kitty um, patent leather bag. Um, I carried that here for about a week, a month or so. And just everything in it just got so heavy and it was ridiculous and I couldn't carry that around, especially going to school with carrying books on one shoulder and then carrying that purse on the other. So I went and got a purse from um, Alta in Ikebukuro. Here we go. And here is the um, Suika card, which is the commuter pass for going to school. Anywhere between here and school, they don't charge me. So I can go shop in Ikebukuro without being charged for getting off at that spot. Here is... Um, Rirakukuma. I've named him Neo. If you guys don't know the story about him, it's um, I brought him to work because I have a pair of pants that don't have uh, pockets. So I needed him to carry my phone. And we named him Neo because he kind of reminded us of Neapolitan ice cream because, you know, there's the strawberry and the vanilla and kind of chocolate maybe. Um, there's also this hanging off my purse, which is the little Hello Kitty bunny looking thing. First and foremost, of course, we have my makeup bag. Um, I guess here I've become more um, kind of, I, want, I don't want to say obsessed, but it really is. Um, I've become more obsessed with my image here just because, um, honestly, just walking in anywhere that's like um, a fashionable area, you feel like you're walking in a fashion show and like, you know, there's people everywhere and it doesn't matter if they're looking at you or not, it's just you want to look your best. So of course we have my makeup bag. And inside we still have, you know, the basics. We have the foundation, uh, the powder, the blush brush. Um, one thing I started carrying actually was the eyelash glue. Just because it tends to get humid here. If I don't apply enough in the morning, it actually um, starts to fall off a little bit towards the two ends and not really the middle part. Um, other than that, it's just lip gloss and lip moisturizer and eyeliner. So um, after that, we have, of course, I still have my iPhone with me. The reason I carry this with me is because I do have the, um, if you look at that right there, the Tokyo Osaka Nagoya subway map, and it shows all the underlined, the metro lines. So, I mean, it's pretty handy. Take a look at it, flip it sideways, and it shows all the different lines. Um, the other app that I always use is the Japanese app. This is one of the best dictionaries that I've come to find it even has slang expressions and you can search by you can search by the Japanese or you can search by the English and you can type it in at the top also carry my iPod Nano I know I have the iPhone but it's kind of hard sometimes to have that out on the trains to have to change songs and stuff like that so here I have my Nano and I got this case here in Japan it's a snap-on case it's a two-piece and lastly we have the phone that I'm actually using here in Japan, which is uh, a SoftBank prepaid phone. Uh, not much to it, just a regular flip phone. So, the last piece of technology in here is actually my camera. Still using the same camera. Granted, the pictures aren't, uh, you know, Nikon and like awesome picture photography, but they're for memories and then it's enough for that. So, um, still same camera, still bedazzled, still all these charms on it. Something else that I've found quite useful and that um, I'm glad that I got is this. See, you place this on like a table or whatever it is and it actually hangs off your purse. I know these exist in America, but I never thought of buying one there just because it, there was never any use for it. But now that I'm in school and the desks are so small and then the restaurants are kind of small and I don't like having my purse on my lap while I'm eating. So I've gotten one of these. And this one is Hello Kitty. Comes with a cute little pouch for it. We have this agenda book that I carry with me. Um, I actually write my expenses in here. So um, 
my parents told me to make sure I keep track of how much I'm spending cash-wise and everything just because, you know, um, with the with my bank account, I can log on to wellsfargo.com anytime and check. And I actually do write in it. I have a package of tissue. It's their Hello Kitty. My keys with the fluffy... You guys remember the fluffy balls? Yes, Arthur. I said fluffy balls. You guys remember the fluffy balls? Alright, I moved them from my coin purse to my keys just to have that... Um, just to kind of be easier to find in my purse. Peach mix. Gum. It's so good. I love it. It's amazing. I'm definitely taking some home. And we have my YSL handkerchief. Can you can you believe this is only ten dollars? This this YSL is only ten dollars. Yes. And last but not least, we have the coin purse that I removed the um, two fluffy little pom poms from. Um, and this holds all my fives and ones. So. 5N and 1N. And then I'm still using the same same Hello Kitty wallet. And I keep bills and the hundreds, five hundreds, and tens in here just because they're a lot more common commonly used. So if you've noticed, I've gone from a very large bag to a much smaller bag. I just wanted to kind of give everyone a little more insight into life here. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, one last bit of information. I actually read the New York Times today and they said that they are thinking about um, not withdrawing Hello Kitty, not retiring her, but Hello Kitty's having a hard time in her sales and placement as far as popularity goes. She's currently number three behind Anpamon and Pokemon, I believe. But um, I'm going to be making a trip to the Hello Kitty, or uh, the... Hello Kitty gift cake, Sanrio gift cake, one of those, um, the place that I've already been to with my mom when she came back the second time. I'm going to make a trip there later tonight just to take a, maybe take some pictures, take a little video, and yeah. So I'll see you guys next time, and until then, keep comment, rate, subscribe, and definitely go purchase um, Dance to This Song by Kev Jumba and uh, Wong Fu Productions on iTunes. It's definitely worth the money. It's a fun song, and I can't wait until they release the video. Until next time, ja!